Hi, this is Matt from Envision Community, and today I wanted to take a quick look at Pages Databases. Now, Pages Databases are probably one of the most powerful features from within Pages and allow you to create lots of different types of content on your site. Um, today we'll take a look at a really simple example. So, we'll head, head over to Pages, and we'll create a new database. And we'll call this a video gallery. And here we have an option you can um, choose separate categories, much like uh, the forum system, or you can create them straight in the database directly so you don't have any um, category click throughs. We're going to do that for now. Um, some options for pages, which we'll go through in another video. And we'll use the default templates to display this. And we'll give it a key because we're a good developer. And that comes in handy later on when we add that to a page. We've got different options here. You can change the nouns so it makes more sense on feeds and in search. Uh, we have some options here which we'll go through in a later video. We'll leave them as default for now. You can link your database to a forum so you get more visibility within the forum area. But again, we'll go through that in a later video. And we'll create a brand new page for this. And we'll choose Page Builder. We'll use the single column template and we'll keep the theme as default. And we can actually change the meta tags for the page, but again, we'll leave this as default for this video. Set the permissions for the database. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some custom fields to this. So we'll head along to manage fields. And as you'll see, two, two fields are already populated, a title and a content. So that gives you a very much like a topic or a blog uh, framework where you can have a, a title for the topic or the blog and then the content or the post. Um, there are some other fields here, some what we call published fields that are standard and you can enable them um, per uh, member group just by checking that. But again, we'll keep this simple. We're going to add a field. And as you can see, there's various different different types of fields you can choose from. Um, as this is a video gallery, we're going to head along for YouTube. Um, and as it says here, uh, YouTube, the embed for YouTube has some custom options which you can add here. Although again, we'll just leave this as default. Uh, obviously field required, otherwise it would be a pretty rubbish gallery without any, any videos. And again, we have some options here which we'll go through in another video. Um, we'll leave this as default apart from we won't show it in the listing template and that's when you see a list of the articles. We don't want the video showing in that area so we'll switch that off. We do want it showing um, in the article itself. There are preset labels which will show in this format alongside the title of the record which we don't want for videos so we'll switch that off and you can choose custom and you can use HTML then um, using these quick um, macros to create your own design if, if you wish. We're going to choose no formatting and as this is uh, YouTube you can either have the embedded player or we can have URL and obviously for this example we do want the embedded player. So we will save that. Again, we'll give permissions uh, like that. Okay, so let's head over to the page and we will add the database to the page. As you can see, the page has already been created, so we'll open the page builder. And as you can see, this gives you hotspots for different things. Um, so you can add in recently browsing, member stats, similar content, things like that or you can add some specific pages features. So you can have um, a custom sidebar using the WYSIWYG editor, custom blocks if you've created any and so on. We'll leave that as is for now. Uh, it's already dropped the database into the, the, this page, so we don't need to do anything there. So we'll go ahead and add a new video. And we shall give this a title. We'll go and steal one of the videos from our own channel. And we'll call this 
Lego lunch. Got to be capitals. Uh, as you can see, here's a custom field which we added as required. You just paste in the URL. Uh, you can add an image if you want to there, but we're going to choose not to. And there we have it. So we have the video is now showing at the top and the content in the container box there. And as default, you can leave reviews or you can leave comments. And we head back to the video gallery list. And it shows there in a very familiar format, much like topics do. And that's it. That's how simple it is to create your own video gallery using pages.